think I've got three names which like stick out for me. So I think first probably Bernie and well Dan Burns, one of them. Um, he's been unbelievable this season. Obviously played at left back for most of the season and. Uh, yeah, he's so important to, to how we play, just in terms of um, his presence, sort of defending, attacking set pieces. Um, but obviously, he's a massive leader as well. And then another one in the back four is Fabi, um, another one who's played next to Sven, and Sven's been so good that um, he's had a lot of praise. But I think if it wasn't for Fabi, the team wouldn't wouldn't run as it does. And um, yeah, he's so good on the ball. His quality, his calmness. Um, I think we all knew how good he was, but to sort of see where he's gone to the last year and a half, he's just took his game to another level and yeah, to have him sort of behind you and knowing he's he's always there is such a, a good feeling because we know how good he is. And then the last one's Murph. Um, so they're my, they're my three, but Murph's been unbelievable. I think when the team's done really well this season, Murph's been in the team. Um, I said that before and he's came in in big games and, and made a massive difference. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a long answer, but those three are the, the ones that stick out for me. Well, last year, Tomo was your man. Um, off the pitch, I would say Derek, the maintenance guy. He's uh, here, there and everywhere. Um, but on the pitch, I think, I wouldn't say unsung, because I think it's well, very well recognised, but I think Nick Pope's been, uh, for me, instrumental to to our success. Big, big saves, big moments in games throughout the whole season, not just... Um, the one, the one uh, previously just gone against um, Leicester. Against Leicester, yeah, that that was obviously a huge moment to get us over the line. But um, he's done that all season at, at real pivotal moments in games, and I think, to be honest, he's been. Uh, he, I know he, I know he will, would would have got credit, but um, for me, he's been unbelievable. I think Sean Longstaff. I think you know when he's been in the team, he's performed at such a high level. Um, from when I first arrived, and you see the difference of the energy, the, the 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 player that he has when he's not in the team. So I think there's a difference there to be seen. So for me, I'll go Long Gelder. I think it's a tough one because I think rightly so the lads have got a lot of credit. Um, so just one that springs to mind is possibly Joe Willock. I think he's you know he's been outstanding all season, works really hard, um, and is is really obviously a top player, good lad as well. So. You know, I'm sure he does get credit as well, but just for for me personally, I think he's uh, he's had a really top season, and you know should be in the conversation there for England and stuff like that. So really good season. Matty Ritchie, um, I think like last few weeks when he's been out with Mister and training, uh, just sort of how vocal he is and how he sort of drives training with his standards, and um, he's probably not got as many games as he would have liked, but I think every time he comes in, he's, he sets an example to. Uh, not only the young lads, but uh, sort of the more experienced lads like like me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say him. Sean Longstaff. Uh, I think he's been pivotal to the team, and he does lots of things that people don't notice. And he's kept kept his place in the team through the full season. So I'm going for Sean. Yeah, I would probably say player. I would probably say Sean Longstaff. Uh, I think he's been he's been brilliant, brilliant all season. Uh, Puts puts in that hard hard work and does that bit of that dirty work uh, and he's a yeah I think he showed a lot how how important he can be might not always get the headlines but I think he's yeah he's well appreciated by by everyone at the club. Um, I would probably say uh, Jacob Murphy. I think he's um, a tremendous obviously player but a person to have around the dressing room. Um, there's been circumstances this season where um, people could have reacted different um, that circumstances he's been in and people would have probably acted different but he acted in, in a tremendous way and um, for other players looking at that it's just amazing to have such a professional in your team you know um, and especially when he's come in as well he's done really really well so I thought he's been playing brilliant this season as well so um, I think it's Jake and, Jake and Murphy. Mm, the player would say Matt Rishi. He's very important for us. He's a leader. He's always speaking the change room. Yeah, he was important. Uh, the staff, I would say the analyst about the team. I think they were important for us as well to study the, the opponents. So these guys deserve the credit as well. I might say Joe Willock. 
I think this guy deserves much more credit. Uh, for example, his pass uh, when Alex scored, I think it was against uh, Spurs again. His, uh, his pass was unreal, so I would say him. And uh, he's a big influence uh, on the pitch, so he deserves more credit. For me, it'd be Matt Ritchie, 100%. Just what he brings off the pitch and even when you're on it and he's just shouting and giving you advice on the train and pitch in games. You can hear him while you're playing in games over over the cars, it's crazy. So yeah, for, he helps me a lot as well since I've come here, so I definitely got Matt Ritchie. Long stuff, because he is just uh, so important for us this season and uh, I don't think he get the credits he deserves. Um, I mean, I could easily say every single player kind of deserves that because um, we've got such a an amazing group. Um, there's no individuals. Everyone's fully supportive of the manager's decisions, the, the starting lineup. Um, it's a real, you know, tight knit group. Uh, so I'm going to be a bit different and go for probably. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Tinners. Uh, and Perchy, the, the um, and and Graham Jones and and JT because they you know obviously the, what the gaffer's done you can't you can't give him enough credit but the four people that probably don't get any any credit or any not much notice really is uh, you know well a lot of people behind the scenes but the amount of time and effort that um, them guys put into to all the players on the training pitch and, and Dan Hodges as well, the sports scientist. Uh, yeah, them guys, are, they work countless hours for for not much recognition. But you know, as players, we we, we can't find them enough because, <clears throat> you know, obviously it's a collective thing with the manager and JT and all, all the staff, but, you know, them guys put in a lot of hours as well. And like I said, it just probably doesn't get noticed. And I'd, just, I'd like to, recognise the, the time and effort they've put in and the sacrifices they've made for all of the players. going to go with my mate Mark Gillespie. Uh, reasons are because obviously a lot of people won't see him uh, in the match this squads or, or much about Mark but every day in training he's always there uh, working as hard as he can helping the team with the training pitch and every match day he travels to every game home and away um, preparing the, the players for the, for, for the match so um, for me he does a lot of hard work behind the scenes that no one sees, so I'll go with him. My buddy um, in the midfield, Sean Longsoff. He's the glue to the right-hand side. Um, Mr. Consistent, uh, three lungs, I like to call him. He's here, there, everywhere. And yeah, um, he doesn't get the plaudits that he deserves, I think. And yeah, he's definitely my unsung hero. Graham Jones, obviously. Um, Bonner, he's been here through the hard times and now enjoying the good. He was here with Bruce, come in. Help do a fantastic job and save us there. Still around, still giving plenty of energy and quality in the, in the training. And his huddles um, will obviously stick with me for a long time. And through the summer, I'll remember him telling me what the weather forecast is going to be like the next day and, and so on. So definitely Bonner, for me, is an unsung hero this season. For me, Sean Longstaff. Um, I think uh, what he does for the team is incredible. Um, the work rate that he puts in, uh, it goes unnoticed at times. Um, and I think when when he wasn't there playing, you can see what a big difference it does with, without his energy and his uh, his uh, um, his work right now. Creo que para mí es eh, Dani eh, el fichio acá de Newcastle eh, porque hace un hace un trabajo que capaz la gente no sabe. Eh, que eh, el trabajo que está haciendo y creo que todos los días eh, no solamente me está ayudando a mí, también le está ayudando a todos mis compañeros. Eh, es un trabajo que, que hace fuera de cámara, así que nada, creo que tengo que agradecerle mucho a, a él y a todo el cuerpo médico por, por el año que, que tuve yo y creo que tuvimos todo el grupo. I think one player that doesn't get the credit he deserves, uh, he do really much hard work basically when, when, when no one sees it. Uh, I think it's Sean Longstaff. Uh, he doesn't do score a lot of goals, a lot of assists, but he's a hardworking guy. Uh, and I think he deserves more, more credit uh, than what people are giving him. Uh, so I would choose him, yeah.